Guys, this video is just going to show you how to set up a basic cart rig. Um, I've just got a hair rig here, you can buy them pre made or you can make them yourself. And what you need is the cart rig itself, uh, boilies, I've got pop ups here, mainline fusion or scopex boilies, anything really. It could be luncheon meat. Uh, you need a bait and needle and you need boilie stops. Right, so, first, you want to get the boilie you want, you want to put the bait and needle through it, like that. You want to get the a little loop on the end of the hair rig so it's attached like that and you need to push the boilie onto the line take the bait and needle off so you've got it like that you want to take your boilie stop you just want to get it so you've got your boilie stop through the loop you want to pull the boilie tight to the boilie stop like that and there you have it it's a boilie hair rig boilie hair rig, I'll just show you, this is a Scopex boilie so it should just sit flat in the water, just show you it now, so that's what we look like on the bottom, yep. getting a pop up boilie on the hair rig is exactly the same thing as I showed you earlier, this is a mainline fusion pop up, I'll just show you how it sits in the water, it sits up in the water, if you wanted it to be lower in the water like this, you could just bite a little shot onto the line here and now hold it the line down there so it'll sit appetizing in the water like that. In terms of the cart rods and reel you use, I mean there's a variety of reels and rods in the market, vary from ten to hundreds of pounds. Generally of the cart reel you want one for bait runner. So if a fish makes a run where your ledger in it can easily take line, you just flick it back and fire the fish normally. Uh, this is a twelve foot two piece cart rod, it's two and three quarter pound test curve, which is I mean, it doesn't bend too easily when you find a fish, so you can play it fairly hard if you have to. Say so if it's going for a snag. Uh, this rod's for carp or pike. 